The thing to remember is that Harry and Meghan never really wanted to do this project. The whole of the Queen's death, it changed everything. Are Harry and Meghan about to give the royals a Christmas present they might not be so keen on? The Sussexes tell-all documentary, Don't Call It A Reality Show, is set to hit Netflix on December 8th as part of their deal with the streaming giant. And studio bosses will be keen to recoup their rumoured $100 million investment in the couple. This is all we know about what could feature in Harry and Meghan's Netflix show. The couple announced they had hatched a deal with Netflix in February 2021, weeks before their notorious Oprah interview hit the airwaves. Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. <laughs> in the months after their accusations of royal racism set the world alight, cameras were spotted trailing the couple on many public engagements. When Harry and Meghan jetted to the Global Citizen Live event in New York in late September 2021, a camera crew trailed them on the red carpet. And just over six months later in The Hague, the Duke and Duchess were filmed while hugging competitor Lisa Johnson at the Invictus Games. One of the organizers at the event said the Netflix team arrived in six people carriers with caseloads of equipment to ensure that they got all the footage they needed of the couple. The Sussexes are also understood to have let cameras into their home, which seems at odds with their requests for their privacy to be guarded from media intrusion. But the way that the couple left frontline duties and the upset that their actions have caused means that Netflix viewers may not be treated to any behind the scenes royal moments. We certainly won't be seeing any moments with other members of the royal family. From what I understand, they made absolutely clear that they didn't want to have absolutely nothing to do with this programme. Um, and further evidence of that came when um, Harry and Meghan came over for the Queen's, Queen Elizabeth's Platinum Jubilee celebrations. They kept a very low profile and they didn't, um, there, there wasn't even a photograph of the Queen um, with baby Lilibet, whose birthday it was at the time. And apparently that was made clear that the Queen wouldn't pose for a photograph in case it happened to appear, you know, in a series like this one. Reports surrounding the Queen's Jubilee suggested Netflix would be unhappy that their money had not secured behind the scenes access at Windsor and Buckingham Palace. And possibly fueling further tensions between producers and the couple is growing speculation that they are starting to heal their rift with the royals. Her Majesty had met great-granddaughter Lilibet when the couple attended the Jubilee. And William, Case, Meghan and Harry put on a show of unity after her death by greeting mourners at Windsor together. Harry was permitted to wear his military uniform to stand guard at the Queen's coffin. And King Charles spoke of his love for them in his first speech to the nation. I want also to express my love for Harry and Meghan as they continue to build their lives overseas. If true, any reconciliation could mean the Sussexes want to reduce the amount of royal mudslinging they engage in, or they could end up embarrassed by any lurid accusations they make in the show. I think certainly there was a change um, when they saw the huge public um, outpouring of grief and sympathy after the Queen's death. It sounds like that made them very nervous about this programme and probably things that they had already recorded. Um, there were certainly reports that they then wanted lots of changes to be made to the program. Um, we will find out what's being left in. But I think the whole of the Queen's death, it changed everything. And it's, it's put this program into a whole different light. Rumours even swirled earlier this year that the couple might have wanted to shelve the Netflix title entirely. However, it seems that decision isn't entirely in their hands anymore. Netflix CEO Ted Sarandos is under pressure to have the show stream in December with maximum salacious blockbuster appeal. In fact, Meghan has already appeared to distance herself from Netflix director Liz Garbus, telling Variety that the show would depict her through someone else's lens. She added that it may not be the way we would have told it. Arguments had already reportedly led to the departure of first director Garrett Bradley. And in a similar vein, 
Harry also reportedly tried to delay the publication of his memoir Spare in the wake of the Queen's death. Furthermore, in her podcast this week, Meghan denied the idea that she would ever appear in a reality show, further distancing herself from the idea of a programme full of drama. Well, certainly um, we know for a fact that Meghan has spoken about how she would have done this programme differently. She said in an interview that it's very much the director Liz Garbus's project. It, it's a different version of things than she would have wanted. Now, to me, that sounds like, you know, long before the event, she's trying to put a lot of distance between herself and Harry, and it really does make me worry about exactly what's going to be in this show. The thing to remember is that Harry and Meghan never really wanted to do this project. When they signed up for Netflix, it was to make programmes. That, you know, they had this vision of sort of being like Barack and Michelle Obama and making very worthy documentaries. And that's already um, gone by the by. You know, Harry's made a, a programme about his Invictus project for injured um, servicemen. We don't yet have a broadcast date for that. And Meghan's big project, which was a children's animated program called Pearl, well, that's been canned altogether. So the first thing we're seeing is a reality show, you know, a docu-series about them. And this is not being made by Archwell. This is very much a Netflix project. So I think for everyone, you can imagine Harry and Meghan being nervous about the reaction. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit subscribe for more.